Hey folks, welcome back from our Coral Island. Let's detective. What? I was just gonna check the weather forecast. Um, sunny tomorrow. What's detective? What is this? Mass detective arc one. I try to be as normal as possible. Normal clothes, normal job. I already stand out enough with my hair and eyes. No need to make it any worse. Mochi mochi. <laughs> Unfortunately for me, I have a gift that I can't ignore. I will always search for the truth. Excuse me, ma'am. I've heard uh, you're looking for a mochi. Yes, my cute little doggy. I think someone took her. The last time I saw her, she was napping in here. Hmm, interesting. Gotcha, she's here. Ma'am? Oh, Miss Sato, I was about to call you, but a telemarketer called me and they wouldn't let me hang up. Mochi just wandered in here. I think she smelled the ribs I was cooking. Oh, thank God, Mochi, how did you get here? I can answer that. Mochi left through the open back door of your house. Then she snuck her uh, through this loose fence and walked all the way here. There's a loose fence. I need to get that fixed immediately. You naughty puppy. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> Thank you so much, young man. Let me make you a cup of tea as, a, as thanks. No need, ma'am. Seeing Mochi safe is all the reward I need. I like that they actually show you, like, pictures, you know, of what you're watching on TV. Because there's a lot of games out there, like Project Zomboid, that'll just, you know, give you the text. But I think it's really cool to see the images. Or to see images. Well, case closed. Back to normal life for me. Cool. <laughs> All right, so we are back um, trying to renovate our home, then flip it. Our turnips, I think that's what these are, are almost ready. Tomorrow we'll be able to harvest them. And as for today, we need to water them. That's right, I'm not going to forget this time. Water our crops. See, now now would be a good time for the music to kick in. There you go. <laughs> I was like, where's the music? The day has just begun, and there's no welcoming music to welcome me to the day? I didn't realize we have 500, um, monies. I'm thinking we should spend those. We need to, we need to, yeah, we're gonna buy, when the general store opens today, and it does open today, right? Let's see. Yeah, it'll open today at 9. When it opens today, we're going to buy more things, because, yeah, we'll buy more crops. We'll get ahead of it, we'll get ahead of it. As for now, let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to, first off, move the mouse? Secondly, how do I want to build this? Let's carve a path to this entrance. So we'll just go around here. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's mine all this out. And so I will do for this side what I did for the other side, which is carve a route. Can I actually build paths? Is that a thing? I can. I can craft them. Great. Thankfully, a wood path only costs one wood, which is nice. Uh, make friends, give time. Oh, you know what? Today is Joko's birthday. So we'll go to the general store and then we'll go visit Joko. But first, what I think we'll do is we'll build... Whoa, I just... We'll build, I want to say... Let's build up to 20 of these and then we'll go ahead and plot them here. And I'm not really married to the idea of, ooh, Earth Geode. I'm not really, a uh, new discovery, a geode, bring it to the blacksmith to crack it open and there could be valuables in them, yeah. So just like the coffer or the treasure chests, you'd bring them to the blacksmith and then they would open it for you for about 20 monies. So I'm going to lay down like a path, a road path, but I'm not really married to it. I'm just doing it from like my own reference. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm still missing But yeah, I'm just gonna Plant a path just my own reference point so I know where to go uh, Should I need to get to the other side of the farm? So you're gonna do that I'm just gonna do this for a little bit until you know the shops open and all that stuff. Okay, let's start laying down Some of the pathway here. So we're gonna put that there There we go nice can I put this over? Oh, I can't. But you know what? It's kind of cool. I kind of like the aesthetic of that. Where it's just like... I kind of like that. Where it's like overgrown. I like that. We're gonna... <laughs> oh wait, did I move it one up? I think I did. Let's see. Go over here. No, no, no. It's, it's right where it should be. It's just this tree's in the way. So we'll cut this. Great. Nice. And then I think that's, <laughs> uh, let's build a little bit more. Nice. Oh, we need to build more. Uh, we'll build seven more. 
Okay, there you go. That's gotta be enough. Gotta be enough. Perfect! That really lined up well. But now we have a path, okay? We can just go through here, go through here, and there you go. That's our path to the Never Eat Shredded Wheat West Side. And now we just need a path to the west or the south side. Whoops. Path to the south. Path to the south? <laughs> I can speak. Enunciate. Pronunciate. I can build a path or road down to here. But that'll be a project for another time. Now, let's just put everything that we have away. Yeah, let's put all this stuff away. We don't need this right now. We'll hold on to the geode because we can go ahead and go to the blacksmith for that. Um, let's see. Let me get some flowers to give to Joko. I know he's not really... He, I think he likes violets. So I've, I've given him this before and he was like all right with it. I think he liked violet, and I think he liked daffodils, I think. We'll get one violet. And then, oh, I know. We'll go to the the bar, because everybody likes coconut. That's like the one thing I saw on a tip. Someone spoiled that for me. They like coconut. Oh, this, right. You're not welcome here. Pufferfish. Save the island. Karen, hello all. Passionate residents of Starlet Town. All this commotion is unnecessary. Pufferfish isn't here to do anything destructive. Quite the opposite, actually. We're here to bail this town out. Enough with the lies, Miss Pufferfish. We can all see what you're here for. What is she here for? <laughs> you can call me Karen, and please do elaborate, Miss Betty. The oil spill that reached our town last year was your doing. These old bones have seen enough of your atrocities. We don't want an oil drilling company around, Miss Pufferfish. Please stop now and take the drilling away from here. I'm afraid it isn't up to you, but yes, yes, we hear you. We're an oil drilling corporation, but things are not as always one-sided as Miss Betty suggests. We don't need your dirty... If I may, Red Shirt, we can make Coral Island lively again by bringing in tons and tons of our workers here. Once we turn the museum into a storage facility for oil, expand drilling sites to the lake and across the beach. See where I'm going here? I can see plazas with vending machines around town, parks. Many of our workers will want to relocate to this dying, decrepit town. Pufferfish can help Coral Island become a magnificent oil town. You see, creating jobs and attracting our internal talents. In no time, you will all see this town alive again. Picture this, pufferfish workers everywhere, chilling by the pier inside fish, fish and ships, <laughs> fish and sips, enjoying life. Red shirt. Look at the bigger picture, you imbecile. Let's face it, nobody cares anymore about this uh, charming little island. Let us bail you out, expand our operations here on Coral Island's coast. That will make this island a world famous oil town. We're putting you on the map. All you need to do is say, oh, my phone is ringing. <laughs> All you need to do is say yes. And she's right, you know. I mean, she's here for a reason. The mayor must have invited her if this island was dying. That's January's take on it anyway. And by bailout, you mean drilling around the island? Ha! Huh. Pufferfish's investors will make a hefty profit. Do the math. It'll trickle down to you people. Folks, let's cool our heads and... Oh my god, a motorcycle driving by. Isn't that what you want for Coal Island? Motorcycles driving by carelessly? Nothing will be solved if we act out of our emotions. Or we act out of emotion, that is. Miss Karen, thank you for your time. Our door is always open, Mr. Mayor. She drives a hard point. Look, she's only here because the mayor invited her, okay? Companies just don't spring out of nowhere. So if there's anyone to blame, blame the mayor for his greedy, greedy invitation to Pufferfish. Also, Karen, are you single or? You are dumb, unattractive, overweight, unworthy. <laughs> My guy is a gold digger, so he's very much like, wow, uh, <laughs> January, right? Oh, I know you. Please make your acquaintance. No need to be confused. You don't know me. I'm Karen. I'm with Pufferfish Corporation. 
In January, this island is dying. We both know it. These people, they're just in denial. We should just make the best of it. I kind of agree with you. Also, if you're not doing anything this weekend, I'm kind of... Oh, she's gone. All right. So, moving on. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so let's head to Sam's General Store and talk to people while we're here. Here's Annie. Good day, stranger. Oh, you just moved to the farm. Welcome to the community. My name is Anne. Uh, give a gift. No, 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 no. We're not giving gifts. We're not giving gifts. A quick word of advice from your new neighbor. Be patient since last year those darn crops aren't growing like they used to. Cool. Talk to people. <laughs> I'm just bothering everybody in this grocer. Oh, hey, I have to say you're not what I expected. Oh, I've never met you before. Okay, hi, Noah. Oh, no, I didn't mean it in a bad way. I just heard from the twins who run the inn that a new farmer moved in. I just thought, you know, never mind. Uh... Uh, okay, Noah, sure. Emma, I haven't seen many pufferfish employees around. They like to keep to themselves. Uh, mm, what else do I need? Okay, let's talk to Eva. I should check up on Betty. Gotta make sure she's alright. She was, like, so upset at the pufferfish meeting. Yeah, I don't know why. She was super aggro, Ava. Isn't that so wrong of her? She's like, no, it's wrong of pufferfish. I love the way Sam smells. Most stores smell weird, but we keep this place spick and span. I imagine this place smells like bread. It's no use wasting our energy and being angry at Pufferfish Court. It's better to be- it's better to redirect that energy into something more productive. The cherry trees near the lake are blooming again, which means it's time of the- it's that time of year when we gather around the lake and barbecue. Cool. Alright, let's buy things. I think I want to buy carrots. I wish there was a way where you could, like, buy the quantity or, like, Pre, like I guess like predict how much this will cost in total but as for right now I can only just like buy that and just sort of guesstimate I think I want to bring it down to 200 let's see we have six maybe if we buy three more it's okay no it's a lot let's just do six let's just do six and then so we'll plant six let's go to the blacksmith and bring our geodes in there maybe we get some like cool stuff that we can then give to Joko. Not opposed to just giving him random things. <laughs> Even if they're like super valuable. I don't care, it's his birthday, you know? Do right by him on his birthday. Ooh, are we passing it? Where's the blacksmith? Oh, north of us. Yep, we're stuck. Uh, here's Pufferfish. Yeah, if you're curious, let's just go to Pufferfish real quick. Just to show you what it's like. It's a, just a corporate hell. <laughs> Bunch of people here, uh, employees only, doing some work, double monitored and everything. Um, as to what they're working on, who knows? It's an oil rig, but they're like all on computers. I don't know what they're doing. And then there's this person here. Hopefully she becomes a dateable. How do you hoes act like if you ain't in no relationship, you gonna die? Y'all be weak in the knees, stand up! <laughs> we have Reina, good day, how may I help you? Uh, over to my right is our employee working area. Behind me is the manager's office, currently occupied by our branch manager, Karen. Cool. And Karen is over here. Uh, would you look at that? If this isn't the farmer, what can I do for you? I want to marry you, Karen. I'm trying to move up in the world, and, um, it's not just that your money makes you more attractive. Like our office at Pufferfish, we work hard all day and night. It's important that the office is as comfortable as possible. I mean... You know, as ornate and I guess modern as this place looks, that's kind of like everyone's vibe, even on the island. But the interior, I mean, it's all nice and sleek. Anyways, let's uh, go ahead and process the geode. Yes, let's process the geode. Silver ore, cool. And a fire agate. Cool. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Uh, I guess I should talk to you while I'm here. Pablo, have you seen Pufferfish? Oh no. It's finally getting warmer. I'm looking forward to hanging out outdoors again. Yeah, okay. See you, Pablo. Where's that joke? I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's go visit Joko. Joko, I've got questions. Part of the reason Dinda and I moved here so is that we can enjoy the beauty of nature, but with Pufferfish here, sigh. I've gotten really good at making chairs over the years. Good for you, buddy. Do you want... This? Uh, moral? Nice, thank you for my birthday present. 
Um, what else can I give you? Whoops, I just dashed through his, <laughs> through his workplace. What else can I give you? Where's my items? Over here. I will give you a daffodil. Uh, let's see. Give gift. Thank you, January. You don't really need to- Oh, you know what? I forgot to give- I forgot to buy, uh, coconut thing. Let's go ahead and buy that coconut drink and then give it to him. Ooh. This is daffodils or what? Canola. Got it. Yeah, you want to pick as many flowers as you can. I think flowers are probably the most easiest and accessible gifts to give a person. Alright, so how much are coffee and tea? No, I want to buy the coconut drinks. Where do I buy those? A fa it's a failed fish dish? <laughs> what the? <laughs> if it's negative, why would I ever want to buy it? And why does it cost so much? <laughs> Let's see. Kombucha. Wait, where's the coconut drink. Mom's thankfully all right. I still can't believe that lady mentioned uh, dad casually like that. If somebody asked, sure, I'd sing. I mean, why the heck not? Hmm, maybe I can get Theo to sing with me. Uh, okay. Where do I get the coconut drink? Oh, I can talk to him again. Inspect. Oh, no. Inspect. Okay, cool. Oh, it's here. It's in the beach shack. 115. That's actually pretty expensive. But you know what? For you, Joko, why the hell not? You know what? He's, he's a good pal, okay? He understands my plight. He understands that I want to flip the house and sell it for a large amount of sum to some sort of wily entrepreneur who will then turn this island into an industrial powerhouse, thus uh, destroying, its be destroying its beauty. He's as evil and conniving as I. I'm kidding, of course. He doesn't know uh, what I plan to do ultimately. Hello, Cham. Uh, there's a pink train next to the hot spring. Do you know what it is? Cherry, maybe. It's pretty, but I'm worried the petals will clog up the drain. My drain. Your drain? Got business with me? What do you mean by your drain? You like live there or something? Um, let's give you uh, the coconut drink. There we go. Yeah, huh? You're in my spot. What? <laughs> Why can't I give him things? I guess I've maxed out with giving him things then. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I thought I could just give people stuff. I, like, I thought... So, there's this... This symbol there. If you see that right there, I'll point to it. This right there, it says one of two. I thought I could just give him up to two gifts. Is that... Is that not right? <laughs> Anyways, if we can't give you a gift, we have a coconut gift. Maybe give it to Cham. Where is, where is she? Oh, Cham, I have a coconut drink. Should you want it? I'm just gonna give it to the first person I see. I don't. Okay, there you go, Cham. Hello, Cham. Would you like a whole ass coconut drink as a gift? I wasn't expecting a gift today. What a nice surprise. Cool. There you go. You don't wear shoes at all. And I remember back in the day when I was in like community college, there was this uh, person who just never, like, I never saw them with shoes. They would just walk barefoot everywhere. And like, she was super attractive. <laughs> you do you. You walk to school barefoot. Like, did she, and I always wonder, like, did she drive there? Did she, like, what was her M.O.? You know, never had the guts to approach her. Uh, <laughs> but everybody, you know, everyone did a double take. I wasn't the only one, okay? You know, don't, don't make me feel like uh, I'm putting people on the spot. I'm not putting people on the spot. Yes, I'm saying that in a Let's Play, but still. Stop it. Five, six. This is going to be lame when eventually we're going to need a scarecrow and all that stuff, but it is what it is. <laughs> We're, these are just, I'm just building these right now, okay? It's not like a permanent, this is not how, my permanent design for my plants or anything like that. I'm just planning ahead, or not planning ahead, I'm just laying things down. Um, and then, this is just all temporary, guys. I'm building tall, so, you know, I'm building within my means. Once that's all done, or once we have a steady base of income, then I'll make this, I'll pretty this up to, to my liking. But until now, it's... It's just sort of there. Um, I should probably create a path here too, right? Isn't that kind of one of my goals that I had? Right, I built this and everything. I can already just build the path. Let me just do that. So I'm curious, uh, I'm curious. So if you're wondering how I'm like walking slowly and I'm able to pace myself like this, it's I'm just holding down the strafe button. So I'm using a controller. So whatever strafe um, button that is for you or whatever you have to click for strafing, just strafe and then it'll give you more precise way to aim. Let's craft like, let's say 10 more of these. Again, this is just for me, like a visual indicator of like where 
things are in the world, you know. It's, is it excessive? Hell yeah. You could just be looking at your map and then you'll get a feel of the lay of the land and then like memorize it. But for me, I kind of like the immersion that comes when like, oh, there's a, a place here, you know, like a, a path, a wooden path. So therefore, therefore I am there. I think therefore I am. All right. Let's, let's see how, let's do this. Let's start, let's start it from here. And I like that it's like uneven, you know, it's like I'm building with part of the terrain. There we go. Uh, that That's good enough. That's good, right? Okay, so I have about 91 stam. I'm thinking, do I want to clear more things? I don't think I want to clear more things. I think, I think I want to fish. <laughs> Trash. Okay, I don't think I'm be getting anything cool here. <laughs> Let's go to the lighthouse. I've not been there yet, so here's the lighthouse. Oh, here we go. What to do? Hey, uh, are you looking for farming advice? Never worked the land myself. I'm more of a s at home at sea, except for my plants, my lovelies. Uh, cool. Hi, what to do? Uh, he's the one who brought me here. Go ahead and fish here. See if we get anything cool. Oh, okay. I was like, is this a fish or not? All right, wait for it to go down. Then we do this. Yeah, we know the strat. We know the strat. Resist it. Resist, resist. Then wait for it to go down. Attack, attack, attack. Wait for it to go down, then bring it up, and then we can bring it all home. Nice, a box fish. When threatened, it releases poisonous substances from its skin. Cool. I like that we're getting new and interesting fish. Ooh, don't break, don't break, don't break. Resist, resist, resist. Okay, I'll let it go down, then hold. Fight back, fight back, don't resist. <laughs> don't resist. Yeah, so if you thought fishing was like some sort of pleasant experience, it's not. This is not cozy at all. I did read, though, that they're actually planning to find a way to make it optional to have this mini game feature because I'm, I'm imagining some people just don't enjoy this part of fishing uh i mean i think i'm okay with it it does give you an activity and all that but i could definitely see where this would wear out on people a mackerel nice yeah in a cozy game experience like this too like if you're just trying to mitigate certain challenges and not want to do them and just sort of want to coast through it that's also part of the genre isn't it it might not be too far-fetched if they just let it be like oh you can fish and you can do away with the mini game it's just time at that point you know you just wait it out wait for the fish to get reeled in on its own automatically. So maybe that's what they're thinking. But I think we spoiled Joko, right? I think we gave him a pretty good birthday. We talked to him, visited him, visited him as he was, you know, just doing his thing. Oh my God, it's about, it's about. Oh, it's the black market, I think. I've seen this on the tips for Coral Island. A lot. Uh, we'll go ahead and see what she's got. Just, <laughs> just gotta wrestle with this fish. Does she buy fish? You want fish? Cool. Oh, we got a crab. It walks sideways. That's funny. All right. Uh, hey, we're out right now, uh, but you may leave your order here. Oh, red mask. Ooh, cool. Shimmering coffer, scraps, bronze kelp, stamina fruit. Huh. Is it? Wait, does that say quest? Oh, she changed her outfit. What? It says quest right there interesting okay fossil artifact oh there she is can i talk to her uh rati welcome what can i get to you uh keep your voice down i don't technically have a permit to never mind oh she's so adorable <laughs> sorry rati i know you're a black marketeer it's just uh, i think you're super cute <laughs> especially with that outfit you know i'm thinking about datables as well like who am i gonna fall in love with Where's my calling, you know? Who do I want to marry and spend the rest of my life in this limbo? Oh wait, well you know what? I don't even know yet because, so what I was thinking too, okay, to like to headcanon this appropriately, say there is an update that wipes a save, right? I guess you could headcanon, yeah, I'm gonna eat another candy, I know. <laughs> I'm getting obsessed with fishing here. I guess you could say like, oh, then my character January left the island, you know? That's how we could headcanon it, but, if this if the save doesn't get corrupted with an update, then he just like continues on living there. I don't know. No, of course my character's gonna stay here. I feel like that's probably the only option really. Because, you know, would I just make a new character with the same name? Come on now. Oh my god, please don't break. Oh my god. A jellyfish. Keep it venomous and dangerous. What is that worth? Nothing, I imagine. There we go. Okay, last catch. Let's head home. Oh my god. It's almost gonna be midnight. Run me! And of course you can, um, also if you were curious, yes, you can slow down the 
the time of day. I have it about like 60 I think, or 70, one of the two. I, I tried going at 100, but I don't know. It was too fast for me. Let's see. What I need to do <laughs> is put all the fish in my shipping bin in time. Okay, there we go. I want to put the mackerel in. Just, I'm putting all of it in. Hell, I'll even put the trash in. Why not? Box fish. Ooh, that's a... Anyways, let's just sell it. I just want to get the price on them. And I know you're probably thinking like, dude, don't sell them all. I'm going to. I'm going to. <laughs> so day, good. We got max energy for mining because we mined actually. We, we can uh, craft an explosive, which is awesome. Plus three, max energy because of our fishing. We can craft a small fish bait, which is nice. Joko, he's, you know, I, we treated him out. It was his birthday, you know, love the, love the guy to bits. And let's check out our fishing. Okay, so we got 556 out of this. Uh, so mackerel was about 40 a pop, 45 a pop. Then boxer was a, box fish was 40 a pop. Crab was 70. Ooh, jellyfish is 95. Okay, okay. So it was worth the struggle. And then we got 46 out of the starred box fish. And trash is like one per, okay. <laughs> of course, it's better to keep the trash. Don't sell trash, okay guys? I'm just doing it for science. Just doing it for science. Uh, let's see, unlocked fishing bait. Okay, it's just telling me what I've unlocked. Let's go ahead and check the weather. Spoils of the land, what is that? What's the weather for tomorrow? It'll be sunny as well. Spoils of the land. How are you all ready for your next tips and bits on living off the land? You can find shiitake mushrooms in the forest, and obviously the chance of finding them is higher after a rainy day. Ooh, okay. Like my life coach always says, rain brings life, duh. Game of Cones. Game of Cones. Hello, viewers. Welcome to a Game of Cones, a fight for the right to be king of cuisine. As always, our judge is the meanie with a heart of gold, Chef Gordy Ramses. Uh, cool. Today we have two consistent, uh, contestants trying to win the heart and stomach of our stony chef here. Gordy, tell our chefs here what today's theme is. Today's theme is simple. Or I should, I should guess I should do his voice. Today's theme is simple. Uh, so I'm not going to do his voice. <laughs> I'd, I'd butcher it. Anyways, today's theme is simple and something every good chef should know how to do. Soup. Any soup will do. Chefs, go cook. And they're off. Let's check up on our first chef, Chef Rob. Tell us, chef, what are you making today? And keeping it simple, growing up, one of my favorite meals is a good hearty tomato soup with grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, that's what I'm making today. Man, I could really go for tomatoes. I like tomato soup. I don't know why. Like, I just, I wasn't a very, I wasn't very much a tomato soup person growing up, but I've grown a palate for it. Mmm, sounds delicious. Let's go to the other contestant, Chef Macy. Chef, will you be serving our grumpy chef? I live by the ocean, and it irks me that people throw away perfectly good fish heads. I want to show everyone how easy it is to cook delicious fish head soup. I don't think I've seen that before. Let's ask our chef, uh, Surly Chef, what he thinks. Gordy, what, uh, what makes a good soup? It can be a full hearty meal or a side dish that perfectly complements the main, but here I'm looking for a soup that can stand on its own, filling warm and hearty. And it looks like our chefs are done. Let's take a look at our fish dish. What do you think, Gordon? <laughs> I love the X on that fish's eyes there. Oh, very nice. I like the little bit of kick and ginger gives, and the heads perfectly thicken the soup. Well done. Let's move on to the second dish. How about this one, Gordy? I love good tomato soup. It's certainly an upgrade from the classic, but I don't know if it's enough with that wow factor. Delicious, nonetheless. I'm going to assume the fish head wins because that one is more, um, look, it looks more hearty. Both chefs delivered great dishes, but I think Chef Rob won today's challenge. Simple, consistent, reminds me of my days when my mother would take me back when I was sick. Congratulations, Chef Rob. Not only have you melted the Grinch's heart, but you've also won a lifetime supply of tomatoes and the cast of Iron Throne. Wow, thank you. Um, That throne doesn't look very comfortable, isn't it? It isn't, Rob. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next episode. Wow, that took me for a spin. I really thought uh, Fish Head Soup would win there. Mark. Yes, good morning. I'm Mark. You're the new farmer, I know. I'm here to give you some info. The cavern northwest of here is now open, right through the forest. When you see Jack's ranch, go left and follow the path. Uh, it was closed? Yes, it was closed, and now it's open. Catch any of that? Uh, sure. The band of smiles cleared up the top levels of the cavern. It's safe to roam, no monsters anymore. Just don't, just don't go too deep. Your garden rake won't help you there. That's all. If you want to know more, ask Kira. I'm done here. Waste of time. You know what? Fuck you, Mark.
Fuck you, good sir. Fuck you. <laughs> Could you imagine just absolutely hostile to that dude? Oh, you know what, Mark? Thank you for telling me. And also, fuck out of my property. Can you please fucking leave, good sir? And he'd be like, whoa, we don't we don't cuss in Coral Island. So that's just not very cozy. That's not cozy at all, good sir. And I'm like, shove it, Mark, shove it. Bite me, good sir, bite me. You think I care? I don't play by your cozy rules, Mark. I am out of control. Why am I watering harvestable plants, you may be asking. The truth is, I don't know. <laughs> okay, we can use our rake here. Cool. And the cool thing about the rake is that it actually doesn't harvest, like, Think plants that are still growing, so that's nice. So we've got nine turnips, and turnips don't actually make us a whole lot, so... Can we claim... Oh, we can claim our reward. Uh, okay, we can also see the, the explosive craft here. All right. So let's go ahead and claim the reward. And buy more things. Although we can't buy things now because... You know what? Let's just put the turnips in here. I don't need the money right away. We can just dump them in here. And we do need seeds, though. So I guess... I guess we should have brought it to... Sam's general goods store. I mean, is it open right now? It's a Friday. Do they open Fridays? What's your... When are you open? Yeah, they're open today. Okay, so we need to make friends because I'm lonely and I need help. Can I make more, like, things here? Yes. Ooh, I can make a lot more. Wow, I can make four of them. That's nice. So we need any tree seed. We have plenty of sap. Just need tree seed, which, like, that's tree seed, right? Nice. <laughs> You know what's weird? I kind of don't- I kind of like how wild our place looks. Is that like a weird thing to say? Like, I think what I would like to try to do is- and I've kind of ruined it already, but if there's a tree that I don't have to cut down, then I kind of want to build around it, you know? Like, kind of let some nature thrive. I don't know. Like, I know you can plant your own trees and everything and, you know, create your own beauty, but there's something to like- the nature aspect of it, even if it's just in your head, right? <laughs> like, I'm not even sure, like, I'll be very curious, like, is it random where things are placed, or is it like, are these items just where they are 100% of the time? Not items, but like foliage and stuff like that. Resources, are these resources just where they are 100% of the time? Or, like, are they like randomized? I, I think they, having played this about like twice already, again, only for a couple of days, it does seem to me that they sort of look, I want to say, predetermined. Yeah, I think I think they do look a bit predetermined. Like, I don't want to cut this tree down. I don't want to cut any of these grass down. Like, I just want to clear things that I know will stop my movement, right? Like, this will stop my movement. Obviously, you know, cutting down these trees here. Or trunks, I should say. Like, get rid of that, you know. Maybe a baby tree I can get rid of. But even then, I'm kind of... Not about that. <laughs> rocks, definitely, I think we should we should clear. I think, yeah, I think rocks, 100%, uh, I'd clear. Uh, fallen, like, tipped over logs like these, we can definitely clear. But as far as, like, and like these, we can definitely clear. Like, I don't know what these are, these fiber things are called. Whatever, like, stops our progress, stops our movement, um, that, that I'll happily clear. Minus trees. That's what I'm saying. Just for now, honestly, like right here in the front, I guess, is where I'd put more of my garden space. Eventually I'd move it somewhere else. And that's like all house cleaning stuff, but housekeeping stuff. But right now I don't really have a plan of where I want to put things. And for the sake of brevity, I might actually do that off screen. Who knows? We'll see, we'll see. But let's go around. It's nine o'clock now. Let's go ahead and <laughs> see I'm being stuck by this stupid get away from me. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to put things away and then let's go to the Sam General Store and then talk to folks on our way there. All right. Let's talk to these because they're, they're these two people because they're always here. Hi, Alice. Uh, did you have a, your morning walk too? I like how quiet it is in the morning right before everyone wakes up. It's just you and the birds. I have work today. I'm going straight to the inn after this. Oh, man, that must be nice working at an inn like that, you know? There's something cheerful about the flowers in spring. I know Suki can't get enough of them. Cool. And Erica, listen up. What I've heard from Pufferfish MO, let, uh, that's crime talk for one particular technique. What? From what I've heard, Pufferfish's MO, that's crime talk for, oh. <laughs> yes. Anyway, they slowly push uh, people out of town. Uh, they move into, oh, and you know, going back to our, our headcanon, that's kind of what January also encountered, that gentrification, that being forced out of the city that he grew up in, you know, where locals couldn't even afford the, the places where their parents grew up. So January can, can sympathize with that. 
And that's always the case. Oh, with them? Okay. Uh, I'm just enjoying the weather. What are you doing, January? You seem to be in a rush. Uh, yes. <laughs> that's funny, because I'm, I'm imagining that, you know, just a line. What is up with this cor- what's, what's poor dog is stuck in a taco? He seems happy, but he's, like, stuck in this, uh, this thing. You're thinking that is the best boy in the world. Dude, this dog has been stuck in this- You wonder how the water isn't spilling out more. <laughs> Dude, this dog has been stuck in this fountain forever. What the hell? Poor taco. Alright, it sucked all these people. Annie, as soon as I get home, I'll realize I forgot to buy something. It's pretty annoying if you ask me. I'll write it down. Huh, that's a good idea. Alright, maybe. Uh, I can go ask Paul to get groceries. He just scavenged some vegetables from the lake or something and bringing them home. I mean, there's nothing wrong with wild vegetables, but they're different. Wow, she has a lot to say. If you need a carrot, just come. Uh, you can't just come home with kale or a fig. You can't substitute anything for anything. Alrighty. I wonder how much like their hearts increase if you just talk to them like this. Karen should be glad that mom is okay. If something you want to have to mom, I would. Grr. Uh, mumbling oil, two loaves of bread. Ben, I thought about settling down and opening a store like this, but between you and me, it isn't really my style though. Emily cuts my hair. She uses talent, doesn't she? But that's not why I'm here. I'm here to deliver stuff for Sam. Okay, sure. How's your first spring on Coral Island so far? Are we out of the month? Are you going to plant flowers on your farm? If you do, just don't give any to Charles. He has some sort of pollen sensitivity. So that's like a thing I kind of wish they did. So if you like uncover like the people's dislikes and likes, they should like show it to you. Let's see, is Tom here? Do I have a Tom? Like if any, like if any of these characters tell you, tells you like, oh, this person doesn't like something, that they should just update you on your relationship chart or whatever. They don't though, so bummer. All right, let's talk to Sam. Hi, Sam. Welcome. Are you shopping? Yes, I am shopping. People are slow on Friday. W uh, why is that? Uh, do you think they're lazy? Sam. Jesus Christ, man. It's a Friday. Chill, dude. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and shop. I mean, I guess we can upgrade our backpack. We have 800. Although I'm not really hurting for resources that I'm carrying, if I'm being completely honest. So let's just focus on buying carrots. <laughs> let's buy a bunch. Cool. And I kind of want to save money for uh, a scarecrow. I don't know how much scarecrows. I think it's like 300 something for the scarecrow that our, our best friend here, Sam, or Ben, sells at his caravan as van. <laughs> I know you're like, wait, how do you know all this information? Guys, I watched a tip video. I'm sorry. I didn't want to go into this game completely blind. Um, one, because I really wanted to play it. <laughs> and I wasn't sure if I was going to do a Let's Play series of it because of its early access state. But then I started like really enjoying my time and I was like, no, I have to play it. But then I was like, I want to know more about the game, you know? And if it is an early access, then, you know, why not maximize how I play it in some aspects? But then you're like, why aren't you looking up, if that's the case, why aren't you looking up uh, what everyone likes and dislikes then? To which I would answer, fuck you. No, <laughs> to which I would answer, you got a point. You got a point. Oh no, it's going to be mixed up. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be ugly. Oh well. Oh well. We're going to put carrots in here. And then we're going to water this here. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I know it's not the most. I'm saving up for a square crow on the weekends. On the weekends, Ben sells a thing. He does a thing. Now, do we want to fish for the rest of the day? I'm not sure we do. Let's go around and just talk to townies, I feel like is what we should do. Get to know people a bit more. And then toward the end of the day, we can go ahead and do more housekeeping stuff back at the farm. And then tomorrow we can consider fishing and all that. But I do want to buy the scarecrow, so... Yes, let's go ahead and talk to people. Hello, Eleanor. I like to spend my spring mornings in Garden Lane. It's close by and have you seen the area? It's incredibly gorgeous. Uh, the museum is nice and warm now. Not too hot, not too cold. It's comfortable to walk there in spring. That's nice. I wonder if there's going to come a point where they just don't say anything anymore, right? Like, if you talk to everybody frequently, or to an NPC frequently enough, they're just going to run out of dialogue. Man, I'd be very interested to see, like, how much, like, dialogue goes into these characters. Like, how many pages of dialogue. It must be so extensive. Just picking up flowers. Um, maybe I should go bug hunting. I've no Oh, yeah, how do you... How does one bug hunt? I'll look that up later. <laughs> I won't do it now. 
I won't do it now. I'll just focus my time. Oh, let's collect rubbish. Good. Hi, Theo. I guess the new neighbor isn't a ramen restaurant like I hoped. Uh, one of these days I'll go fishing at your farm. I'm interested in surveying the area to see what kinds of fish swim there. Oh, there's not many, actually. Not today, though. Maybe the water there is a bit cooler. Oh, cool. Someone's here. Hello. Millie. Yes, January. I've been meaning to meet with you. My name is Millie. I'm so exciting. It's so exciting to have people moving in. Have you, have you met everyone? No, I haven't. I'm going to flip the house. You don't know me. <laughs> That's so funny, man. Okay, we have more people over here. Oh, she's doing yoga. Hi, Leia. Uh, I don't like wearing my hair down. It always seems to get in the way. Let's see. What's a good spring look like? Something flowy, definitely. A nice pastel makeup tone. What else? What else? Uh, are you eavesdropping on me? Of course you would. I am no dropping no eaves, sir. Honest. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, Leia. Just, uh, you know, talking to people, chilling. That must be weird, though, right? Walking up to someone as they're doing yoga and just being like, hey, hi. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, we have someone over here. It's not like I like you or anything. <laughs> I got some good shots of Pufferfish meeting. Uh, that was intense. I thought everyone was going to erupt or something. Kind of scary, actually. Uh, bah, the sun is so bright today, it hurts my eyes, but it's such uh, good lighting for photography. I wonder how they're... See, that's the thing. I wonder how they're going to do that because, like, in the main story, like, how they're going to write that in. Like, are they just going to say the company bought land and now are in Coral Island? Is that how it worked? Like, without ma mayoral approval or whatever like that? Like, how are they going to spin that? Because I think it'd be really interesting if they said the mayor allowed them to build there, you know? I think that'd be really cool. Is it going to get... Okay, no. Because I think that would add to more of the drama. Bun Bun is one adventurous pup. You see Bun Bun everywhere. You want to take Bun Bun on a walk, but you have errands to run. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, Raj, uh, I've met interesting folks here the, uh, through coffee. A hunter, some scientists, a new farmer escaping the city life. Winks. This here is my coffee shop. Stop whenever you feel the need uh, for that jolt of caffeine. Alright, so you're not a person. <laughs> you're not real. Ooh, this person, Waku, January, did I say it right? I'm Waku, it's a pleasure to meet you. Dad told me about you. He's the one who brought you here on the chicken boat. Your dad is Wataru. Wow, cool. Yep, the one with the hat. Uh, did I hear a Pokyo accent? Oh, you are. Where in Pokyo are you from? The big city, actually. I plan to go back. I'm gonna flip this house and get the hell out of Dodge. You know what I mean, Waku? Next to the thingy, or the busy, the busy part up the hill. Let's say the busy part. I see the busy part. That place with lots of cars, tall buildings, I bet. Yep, that that's me. That's me. Is this the black market person? It is! Think you're stopping by anything and get, get you? A customer. <laughs> that's hilarious. So she's like a regular here, but then like at night she just sells like all her all her dark, dark web stuff. What I've noticed as well, like a little a little notice here, is no one has smartphones. Nobody's on MySpace or Friendster. Let's see, I can't believe it. I should have known it was a, just a shell company. Oh, okay, wait, wait. Um, we need to figure out how to deal with this. Pufferfish being in town isn't any good for us. He, well, I guess he was duped, I suppose, is what he's trying to get at, or he's implying. Can you believe it's almost the weekend already? Well, ooh, that's the oil, or whatever that is. Some Eldritch Horror coming out of, <laughs> coming out of there. Well, Mr. Mayor, you should have Googled it. That's why you need smartphone technology. That's what you need uh, a bra- Ooh, someone's littering. What's up with this yacht? Hey guys, who lives here? What's going on? You gotta pick up your shit. Who lives here? Who's here? You don't know, uh, actually, I'm really curious. Who lives here? That's like one thing. Okay, like, I love the farm. Don't get me wrong, I love the farm. But I think it'd be cool, like if, and this would not be this game, obviously. But I kind of want, oops, I kind of want a game where it's like this, right? But, like, you get to pick where you live, you know? I think that would be really cool. Because, I mean, as much as, like, you can build and do whatever you can on this farm or whatnot, I do feel that, like, it's kind of restrictive in that sense. And I kind of like that feeling of living in the, living in the thick of things, you know? Anyways. <laughs> Can't have it all. Maybe there is a game like that. I just don't know it. I mean, I guess no, there are kind of games like that where you can just sort of 
I suppose I'm thinking more colony sims and that kind of thing. Anyways, Cham, did we talk to you? Uh, the hot spring is really good for sore muscles. Nothing beats a hot soak after a hard workout. I can't chit chat all day. Talk to someone else, will you? Oh, you know what? I need to give people gifts, okay? Let's give people gifts. Uh, let me talk to him regularly. <laughs> Mark, some of the animals at the shelter- <laughs> Look at him, too close! He, he's, he's like, his forehead is like on mine right now. He's like, some of the animals at the shelter just wandered here from hillside or the forest. Like, talk about that vineyard's dog. All right, let me back up, give you some personal space. Uh, I like the hot cocoa, uh, hot cocoa from the coffee corner. Don't like coffee. All right, let me give you a thing, okay, good sir? I know we've got off on a wrong start here, or a, or a tough start. Can I give you violets? Do you like those? Well, that's thoughtful of you, Jen. Very much appreciated. That's shocking. I thought most people hate that. <laughs> um, oh, he's neutral to it. He's neutral to it. He doesn't hate it or dislike it. It's neutral. It doesn't show up. I wish neutral showed up. Mark is a member of BOS, an international group of hunters. He volunteers at the animal shelter in his free time. Okay, well, we gave it. That counts as a quest, right? Okay, cool. Anyone else? I could have given Cham something, but... Uh, she's like, I already have given her something, so it probably wouldn't have counted for anything. Anyone else is here? No, they've all kind of left. Oh, I mean, they're, they're all over here. We can go to, let's give Waku something. Who's closest to me? I don't want to have to go too far. <laughs> There's like no gift shop. I wish there was a gift shop. Wouldn't that be cool? Give us a gift shop. <laughs> Instead of having us to, to fetch things everywhere. Oh, let's check the dates. So, uh, uh, let's see, calendar. So someone's birthday is coming up. We don't know who. I wish you can add your birthday. I mean, I know that's like, I've seen uh, like other like farming sins do that. Okay, let's talk to you, Yuri. Betty is a strong woman, but even so, I didn't want it. Uh, I didn't think it was a good idea for her to attend the pufferfish opening. Don't worry about Charles. He's in good hands. Let me do the worrying for both of us. Who? Look, um, because uh, coconut costs too much, I'll just give you candy, okay? Oh no, I'll give you, uh, I'll give you this. You like this, uh, canola? Nice, thanks. Uh, okay. What, what did that do for me? <laughs> or better yet, what did it do for you? Okay, so must have been neutral. I gave her a gift though, right? That counted for something. It did. Waku, lucky you, buddy. You get a thing here. Hey, thanks for thinking of me. Ooh, quest complete! We did it! Yay! Waku, but I'm curious, Waku, did you, like, like that, or did you hate that? <laughs> I wish it prompted you as well, like, Waku liked that, Waku didn't like that, or like, Waku thought that was meager, no, better. <laughs> Waku thought that was mid, could you imagine? Like, <laughs> like, Waku thinks it was mid, oh, he liked it, cool, awesome. Uh, Millie, do you want this? I really should be saving it for myself, but I hope this wasn't too much trouble, I accept it, thank you. I just feel like I should be giving people everything. I just want to just be, you know, be nice to people. <laughs> Thank you, dear. It's very considerate of you. I'm just giving people shit. Is that bad? That's awful, right? You shouldn't do that. Oh, I don't know this person. Oh, hello. I don't think we've met. Yes, we haven't met yet. Oh, let's not give you a gift just yet. I'm Alea. And that's it. Okay. Well, nice to meet you, Alea. Um, I'm not going to give you any more. I need the candies for myself. <laughs> I've given away way too many things. Oh, man. See how generous I am? I'm willing to set myself back to set my own progress back just to make people happy. Speaking of which, Joko is kind of the guy that I go to the tavern with and just drink. Like, he's he's a buddy. Like, he's down to earth. He's real. He kind of gets me, you know? He's like, dude, I get it. Like, this place isn't for you. You know, I know your grandparents lived here, but you have no real connection to this place. I get that. And, you know, like, but I know you're also trying to do right by people. Appreciate that. Appreciate you for, you know, giving business to my, to my place and, and all that stuff. So... A lot of that's happening. Joko gets me, okay? I still haven't, you know, our character still hasn't really found a reason to stay. Aside from, you know, trying to work the land and, you know, just trying to be about it, you know. So, <laughs> so we'll see. Um, obviously, you know, out of character, okay? Out of character, out of headcanon. We're gonna stay because this game is so much fun to play. But, oh my god, we gotta deposit things. Gotta deposit things, guys. Ooh, got some wild berries there. Let's put, oh, trash in there. Let's put soil in there, and then let's go to the flower place, storage thing that I have, put that in there. Got sea stuff, where is it, sea stuff? There we go, see, who needs a backpack? Who needs extra storage? Just doing some housekeeping here. Getting some trash. 
trying to do my best to, you know, keep the aesthetic of the overgrown tall trees and stuff, but I wonder, if I don't pick these up within the day, do they just disappear? Or does it save, I wonder? You know, if you've played this game before, you let me know who you dated or married or, well, I don't think you can marry yet in the game, but who you love, who's your romantic interest? That'd be interesting to know. Because uh, I'm curious, like, who are, like, people's favorites? I haven't actually looked that up, nor have I seen that many people, like, really talk about, like, their favorites just yet, so... I might watch a Let's Play. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this, but I can't. I don't want to move past where I've been. You know, that's why I kind of want to cram as much as I, as much content as I can with this game, because I want to experience it before I watch a Let's Play of it. You know, that's just who I am. Okay, I have 32 energy left. What do I want to do? Let's just till more soil. Um, maybe we do this. Yeah, there you go. There we go. And then. Oop, I think we're about to pass out. Maybe I can do one more here? Okay, that was it. Ugh, about to pass out. Let's go ahead and empty things. Cool, and then do the next day. Let's go to bed and end the episode. Uh, let's go ahead and check things out. Yes, we can make the makeshift scarecrow. We're not gonna do that. So in the next episode, we'll actually go visit Ben at his place and buy a scarecrow. I'll show you what that looks like. It has much, much more coverage when defending your crops from crows. So that's what we're gonna do. I think we've saved enough money to do that. And we didn't really sell anything. Oh, farming. Oh, right, I put the turnips in there. <laughs> yeah, we made, we have some income. Okay, well, how much is it per? 35 per. 35 per, really? That's actually not too bad. Anyways, we'll go the next day, and in the next episode, we'll go ahead and deal with the uh, scarecrows, or buying a scarecrow already. Well, I want to thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your support, and I hope to see you on the next one. So, until then, I'll see you then. Thank you for joining me on this one. I really enjoy Coral Island, and, you know, despite what this may look like in terms of engagement, I'm probably going to continue playing it. I don't know. I like it. It is what it is. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. But until then, I'll see you then. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye for now.